My friends, welcome back to the glorious democratic people's free republic of something Stobby Stan. Totally not a banana republic. So, I was about to say, what are my two lads going to try accomplish on the next day? But of course, Fredo is a professional layabout. So what I really mean is, what is Wachewski going to try to get done on the next day? I truly hope he can get the rest of that hay grass down. It's a long shot that we'll get that crop in, but I want to do everything I can to keep these cows alive through winter. The other option is we buy some hay grass with the silver, and there should be more space chunks for us to deconstruct. Yeah, we didn't get that second boomer up, did we? No. Pack of manhunting squirrels? Yeah, hopefully we have a trap or two that's active. Yeah, you little piece of shit. Get killed. The other option is I could slap down some power, but I don't really feel like we have a structure yet to justify putting power in here. I mean, what I would use power for is uh, cooking. But once we had cooking four, then I want a cooking stove, because then we can actually cook four meals at a time. I think we just got to keep pressing on. It's going to get a lot easier once we hit cooking four on Wachewski. If we're able to get a full ambrosia harvest in as well, that is going to be wonderful for us. The smoke leaf, actually, it comes in pretty quick, eh? Grain time, seven and a half days. I think, wonderful, I was just going to say, if he didn't tame this boomlope on this attempt, we would just give up. Fine. Okay, I don't want you to replant cotton, I want you to do... Hmm... More corn. Yeah, one one little harvest of cloth will be enough. I <laughs> keep milking the bloody boomerlopes. You know, merge that wood and then haul the chem fuel. Where's chem fuel here? We have the raw resources, I think. Items. I really wish they would include a search function in here. Yeah, can feel. There you go. So, Ooh, Ambrosia is almost done. Chevsky is sewing. Good lad. Oh wait, hang on. So. Oh, okay, he is grabbing the cotton. I thought he was actually ripping up the ungrown cotton plants to get down the corn, but no, he's not doing that. That's fine. Gosh, we're milking cows, milking boomalopes. Lord. There you go, mate. You go for a walk. You've, you've earned it. This is when my little compulsive organizing and decorating gets in the way. Like, there's no need to create a floor here whatsoever. Ah, it's just animals, they don't need a floor. But it'll look nice. Come on, Wachewski. So he actually didn't accomplish all that much during that day. He made no food. He harvested a little bit of cotton. And he's going to have to spend most of tomorrow cooking. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good at all. I am concerned. It actually feels like we are in a less of a better spot since Fredo has joined. Because now Wachewski has got to work twice as hard to create food. I mean, we're getting research done, but that's not what we need now. We don't need research, we need manual labor. Hmm. It's a puzzle. Okay, 
what's he doing? Harvesting. And hauling all these resources is a bloody full-time job as well. Six in plants is actually pretty good, so... I was concerned he was spending too much time harvesting, but no, with, with level six in plants, he's actually not too bad. I think, don't replant the smoke leaf. That'll have to be enough for now. I don't am spending time replanting there. some hay grass but that is no way that's enough to get four animals through winter nowhere near doing a bit of cooking making some fromage fromage de la rim world it's terrible cheese no one likes it I'm legitimately considering whether I should stop Predator from researching and just have him... Uh, ooh, tamed, train, tameness, okay. Whether I should have him create artworks, because at least that art, those artworks are a resource that I can sell and the money we can use. Like I said, the research is great, but it's giving us zero immediate benefit. I mean, Wachewski is a full-time farmhand at this point, so we've got no one who can, you know, work on digging out this area. Mad rat. Hopefully it'll blunder into a trap at some second at some point. There you go. Transport pod crash. Who's this? Thol, Illuminator. Space refugee of Orion installation. He can do all sorts of good stuff. We don't have anything prisoner wise. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder. Can I put him in here with the animals? <laughs> oh, I think I can. Where is he? Lol. <laughs> oh! Muffalo! I mean, taming muffalo is, is, is what you want because the wool that they give you when you can actually able to shear them as opposed to having to kill them is really good. But with it being fall already, there's no way we'll get them through winter. Wachewski, what are you up to? See, we don't have any medicine, so it's unlikely Thor's even going to survive. Twenty-six percent treating is horrible. I need to think about my approach because it feels like we're kind of just meandering and not making any progress. But clearly we've got to be a, a touch more selective about who we take on because when you only have the one colonist, taking on a second colonist who can't help with the manual labor, it just becomes a liability like Fredo has become here. I mean, if Fredo was, even if Fredo was able to do nothing but help with the farmhand work, we would have been so much further along. How difficult are you going to be to recruit? 36%. Ryan installation is only minus 19. So I'm tempted to actually release him just to improve relations, but we have to try to recruit him. At least he can do manual labor. Fredo, can you do uh, wardening? You can. Okay, that's your job now. And doctoring. Negotiating. Well, at least that's something Fredo can do. 
And while he's in a shoot frenzy, let's get him to go kill a muffalo. Of course he's got an infection. Fredo can doctor at least. I don't know if I can justify the time running around to go grab heal root. I probably should. Muffalo revenge. Shit, Fredo, run away. It's all falling apart. Oh, Fredo. Oh no, Fredo's dead. <laughs> Fredo is so dead. Maybe the muffalo will just leave him alone. Oh Christ. I'm sorry, Buffalo. Oh fuck. And he's still a manhunter. <laughs> oh no. I don't Oh Christ! Oh, if this trap doesn't kill his muffler, it's the end of the playthrough! No, not like this. Not like this! Oh, God. Oh, no! Death by Muffalo! Well, this is embarrassing. What if one of our lads is just going to spontaneously be able to get up? I mean, we're just bruised, so maybe. And he's still manhunting. <laughs> oh, fuck hell. Is he bleeding enough to die in 10 hours? Lynx hunting Wachewski. No! Wachewski is eaten by Lynx! Oh, Christ. Oh. Well, learned a very valuable lesson about the Naked Brutality mod is that when you get cargo pods dropping in someone to join you. Hey, Fredo's up! And he's down again. <laughs> oh, piss. Oh, fucking piss. Okay, so it's not a complete waste. I mean, this is kind of honestly what I was expecting to happen with a lot of these playthroughs. This is so hard and you got to be so particular. The big takeaway from this little playthrough now. <laughs> Oh, now that muffler's down. Maybe Fredo will get up. Yeah, so the lesson is you can't just let anyone join you. You have to have... Your, your, the first person who joins you needs to be able to do dumb labor. Because someone who couldn't do any... Oh, sorry, skilled labor or hauling. Or he, can't, he could do hardly anything that was useful. I mean, cooking, mining, construction, plants, crafting. That's all the useful stuff in the beginning. Muffalo. Fredo's starving. Even if he gets back up, there's nothing he can do. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Uh, I guess that's it. So yes, the lesson is we've got to be more particular on the next playthrough. We'll be more careful about who it is we get to join us. In retrospect, I should have just healed Fredo up and released him onto the map, which would have improved relations with the faction that he's attached to. We could have kept the little group smaller and more focused for Wachewski. He didn't deserve to die like this. He is a legend, this guy. He worked so hard. Could have kept things more small and focused. So as soon as I got the second colonist, I thought, okay, cool. Because normally I would never plant this much when I only have one colonist. Because it's obviously more than he can do. But as soon as I saw we got fed, I'm like, yeah, no, plant all this stuff. We'll, we'll be fine. But obviously not. Okay, so we've got to keep it more smaller. Keep it more focused in the beginning. Be more selective about who we get to join us and keep the traps up the traps did great work uh, i didn't feel like we had to build embrasures we probably will still build them at some point but when we have a bit more of an elaborate structure okay well friends thanks for watching this is the glorious democratic people's free uh, republic of stobby stan 
even though we're glorious and democratic and free, we're no match for a mad muffalo. Sad. I blame Freddo. It's your fault, Freddo. You suck. Uh. Well, friends, thanks for watching. And then, yeah, we'll be back at the usual time in three days' time with another playthrough of RimWorld. Well, you know what? It's only 15 minutes. Why don't we just start a new one? Start a new one. Naked Brutality. Cassandra Classic. Rough. Commitment. Uh, randomize. Random site, let's press it, let's choose a number, uh, seven times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh fucking hell, desert, a very dry area which supports little life, there is very little arable land and animal life is very sparse, deserts can be hot or quite cold. Oh god, that's gonna be hard, no forageability, like 25%, at least there's less than one disease frequency per year. We've got a coast, I've never been on a coast before, that could be interesting. Average temperature is very hot. This is gonna suck. Okay, so, loser. Perfect. Who is next? Next in line. Uh, Spinductor. Let's see if Spinductor has more luck. So he's a good shot. He's decent at constructing. His mining is dreadful, but that necessarily isn't so bad. It's his, if his construction is okay. Yes, it is. Plants is average he's not autistic he's a good medic and a good researcher this is not going to be easy i've never actually tried the desert biome so it was supposed to be a minor surgery just an hour under anesthetic you felt totally safe now you've awoken inside a drop pod punching through the atmosphere of a distant room world aside from a slick of mysterious goo all over your body you are totally naked with no preparation can you survive so we can't just cut down trees can we Oh, is that coastline? Yeah, deep ocean water. Look at that. You know what I'm going to try? Why don't we tuck ourselves in this little corner here, use these structures, or maybe that structure, and then we can try the fishing spot. I don't know if it's going to be immediately useful, but if he goes fishing in deep water... Must be placed with the fishing spot, mouse courser, over water, interaction spot, white circle on land. That's shallow ocean water. With the fishing spot, oh, the mouse courser over water. Okay, so you can go fishing in the shallows. Let's see if that works. So while he's fishing, this seems like an obvious spot to start. Although I don't know if I want to be all the way on the left there. I mean, it's nice to—it's nice and close next to a geothermal vent. Do we just have our little coastline check to start with? I think we do. A nice and peaceful start, if nothing else. A oh, perfect, and he failed to catch anything. Is this going to be tied to his fishing skill? So he's got decent fishing skill. Yeah, that's not doing anything. I think we are going to starve to death. There's iguanas, which don't really help us much with food. Everything except waste, corpses, uh, chunks. Dump out the, by the back over here. We've got three little buildings. Is 
everything to chunks and waste. Is Spindactor going to catch friggin' anything because he's going to starve to death if he doesn't? And look at how little wood this gives. Hey, I caught a tiny fish corpse. Oh, this is so not good. <laughs> Okay, he's butchering. Okay, so we know this is going to be friggin' hard, but hey, it's the point of this playthrough. Just to see how, if it's possible at all. Okay, so there's geothermal right there next to us. Gold! I mean, if we could survive long enough, I mean, imagine if you get a base going here with two geothermal vents right there, especially either side of the base. You power the whole western wing with that vent and this whole eastern wing here with that vent. Food-wise, we've got problems. Let's see if we can find any agave. Uh, what I might want to do is... I don't even have enough fish meat to make a meal, seriously. I could deconstruct a bunch of these walls and use that to construct what I need because there's just so little... A little wood. When we need to make a latrine and a well for him. Conductor, now is not the time to be relaxing, my man. You need to get out there. Get some work done. Well, at least he can wash here on the shore, so there's no need to build a well. We can just build a latrine out of sandstone. <laughs> right, let's put the toilet right next to where he's butchering, and you know, that'll be nice and hygienic. How can you not like raw fish? Let's, let's put a sushi. Okay, we need more wood. So, what's upsetting you? He's naked, of course. Ate raw food. Oh god. Stepped on the ground. Best of luck, Spinductor, but this doesn't look good, does it? I mean if he's got if it takes so long for him to fish. Okay, watch your crafting. Four. So he can craft a bow and go shoot some iguanas. Go fishing, get yourself some food. The lack of wood is going to murder us on this. You're not starving, you got some nice raw fish meat to eat. Okay, so keep deconstructing. Well, these blocks will come in handy. Sandstone door. So at least we, are, we count as being indoors now. At least there's that. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. This is going to be a short one, friends. The desert biome. What do we have to work with on the map? A couple of animals, but very dangerous ones, like the emus and the ostriches, are very are very dangerous. What we do have going for us is a lot of wall, a surprising amount of gold. Getting wood from trees is going to be the real challenge here. Okay, go haul that wood, cut that tree, production, crafting spot, make a war bow, short bow, make a, a short bow, stat. Oh god, I know you're hungry, mate. There's nothing to eat. Okay, cancel that. that that's not a priority right now. He could go fishing again. Is that the quickest way for him to get food? Picking over it, I think I can force him to. Okay, he's just gonna starve to death. Oh, fuck.
I need 24 wood. Where's another tree? God. Okay, he's fishing. Come, catch something nice and big. This is interesting though, because I think what you can do is you can build, where is it? Floors. There's actually like a pier type thing that you can build. Failed to catch anything. So if we build like a boardwalk or a bridge out to the deep water, he should be able to fish in the deep water. But we don't have enough wood to get out there. One, two, three, four, like 50 odd wood. He's starving badly. Oh, orange Jesus has not been kind by making us start here. So as soon as he breaks here, it's over. Okay, fishing again. Come on, get something to eat. Catch a fish or starve to death. Oh, fuck. You know what? Fuck sleep. You need to make a bow and hunt something immediately. Hunt these delicious iguanas. Is that an excellent bow? Okay, fine, get some sleep. Enough sleep, go hunt. Oh god. You die, he's got malnutrition. Need defenses, we got way bigger problems. Yeah, who wants to live on a coast, eh? Not exactly a uh, tropical, tropical heaven for us. Hunt the iguana or starve to death. Yes, delicious iguana meat. Don't eat the thing, you... A fucking animal. You know what? I kind of respect that. He just took the Roy Gorner and just ate its face. In a survival situation. Top of shit you gotta do. Bear girls will be proud. That's alright, Spin Doctor. You're just in a super dangerous survival situation. Now's the time to relax socially, by all means. The visitor. Welcome to hell, Lilith. Welcome to hell. Uh, the ostrich could be a good amount of meat, but 10%, that is super dangerous. That's not all bad. We did get a bit lucky that he got himself an excellent bow. So at least there's that. 5.4 damage per second. Could be way worse. Conductor, now is not the time to sleep. You need to butcher and you need to cook. I doubt we'll even get enough meat for a meal. Doesn't matter, he just eats the shit. <laughs> he eats the shit raw. Oh my god. Oh my word. There's two more iguanas for us to eat. <laughs> oh my god, this is so odd. Like, there's not even any music playing. I think it, the game just knows. No, we are so screwed. No music for you. We are going to have to go after that ostrich, and it's going to kick us to death. Still, the coastline is super interesting. I really want to see if I can get some fishing going. Okay, what's he doing? He's butchering. Good. He's gonna have to eat it raw. Uh, I don't even have wood to refuel the fire. 
Oof. That kind of feels like this was a non-starter. That we need to start in a, a tropical biome like we did in the last attempt. Fuck me, this is brutal. What hurts the most is the complete lack of wood. Like, you'd think there'd be like a little bamboo forest on the coast or something. Don't bother fishing, it shit's a waste of time. Cutting, cutting, cutting. And these cactuses give so little wood. Yeah, fine. So at least he can refuel now. See, this is annoying. He uses this. He has, he'll just run there all the way back rather than using the woody head in his hands. Ugh. And there are no more <laughs> iguanas. You know what? Don't refuel. Hunt the ostrich. This is what you're gonna have to do. This should give us like 60 meat. Oh, yeah, we got 13 iguana meat. Okay, never mind. Refuel. Cook. Summer. Hooray. As if it wasn't hot enough already. Okay, is there a way you can turn, like, extinguish the fire and save the wood? Okay, 1.8 days of fuel. Fair enough. 23 lizard skin. Another iguana. Not to be negative, but holy crap, <laughs> we got no chance. Okay, Mr. Ostrich, please don't kick the shit out of us when we hunt you. Running into the water! It's an amphibious ostrich. Here comes the ostrich revenge, and now it's gonna be all over. Oh, Spinductor! The clutch, clutch shot. That was so clutch. Holy hell. Five meals were saved! Whatever you do, don't touch the emus. So this is going to give us, what, two days worth of food? But one day worth of food. Do we just spend that time trying to cut more trees down? We ain't gonna be growing shit. I mean, there's 70% fertility here. Well, there's some regular soil. Fuck it, we're going for it. A little 4x4 four four patch of rice. So that should be 140% fertilization. Is that that's all regular soil there if we start small who knows like look at all this soil up here and then eventually once we can research soil reclamation we can actually start planting soil on the sand here so it's not always going to be un ungrowable Let's go for short-term gains. I think we can get Spinductor a bed. Made out of marble. Clearly we're not we're not gonna never gonna get enough wood to build a wooden anything. Hmm. 
it's just, this is day four, I think. It's been Dr. survived. Good job, mate. We've got three meals in reserve. What luxury. Naked, awful bedroom. No, I know. He's an optimist. Good. It's a cannibal. This could actually be good for us because now we can start eating the corpses of the people who come to attack us. He, he exclaims in irritation when he fails to catch anything. Oh, a bit of cloth, for fuck's sake. Bastille. How do I get him to stop fishing? By deconstructing the fishing spot. And here we need rice. So that area. Okay, hang on. So let's go manual priorities here. Growing is your number one priority, Spring Doctor. Go for another 4x4 four four or something that'll take a bit longer to grow, like corn. Oh, for fuck's sake, they're attacking immediately. Caxigo, the shaman. Where is he? Kind of just need to. Oh, fuck it. I mean, going indoors isn't gonna help. Just hope we can shoot him before he gets to us. I mean, we got 10 shooting and we got an excellent bow. Oh, good shot. Fuck. Get him, Spin Doctor. You can do it. There's one thing I wish I could do with a situation like this, is if your colonist can carry a secondary weapon, like... I mean, obviously he's got a ranged weapon, but then if he's in melee combat, he should be able to switch to a secondary melee weapon. Yes, he won! Tend to yourself, Spinductor. And how about this lad? Uh, male penitent of the Ixane of the Tarpet. I think recruiting him is probably going to be friggin' impossible. He's he's pretty good. He's a good cook. Should we try recruit him? Why not? It's unlikely he survives. We'll see what his resistance is like. If his res resistance is... Anything above 30%, we'll just release him if he survives. God, we got fucked up by that club, though. We can forget about ever having any medicine. With only three in plants, we're nowhere near being able to plant heal root. Save his life before he dies. Okay, so everything is treated. 76%. Okay, so just release him. It's probably not going to matter. Most likely, Spinductor is going to go into a daze and then starve to death. I know you're in pain. You've got loads of problems. I know, dude. His morale is not going to get very high. At any second, he could just go into a daze and then it'll be over. Can you... Spindactor, can you just prioritize releasing him? No, he collapsed straight again, it looks like.
Yeah, get out of here. Fucking dick. Black okay, Hespen, Doctor. What are you busy doing? Releasing, uh, sewing the area. He's, oh, this pain is ruining us. Recreation deprived. Okay, what can we quickly do to give you some recreation? <laughs> it needs wood. I don't have fucking wood. Fine. Finish sewing. Oh, this is so hard. Who would have thought that solo survival would be this difficult? You better eat that before it rots. Disgusting. Oh my god. Yes, I know you've got a major break risk, dude. I know you're freaking the fuck out. Once he's done resting, we can chop down these two cacti. The wood is so precious, it's crazy. I'm, I'm surprised at how the desert map actually isn't that bad, especially on the coast, if you had the usual starting, you know, three colonists with a packaged survival meals and, a, you know, just to get yourself going. Because I feel like with this here, if I had more guys to help, we could get some, you know, get some rice planted immediately on the soil, that type of thing. I I'm interested to see what, what, what kind of work you can do with fishing. Like, if you get someone who's good at fishing and you get them into the deep ocean water, that's going to help. If you get your hands on enough steel, you can switch over to electricity so you're not so wood dependent. It's definitely doable in this biome. But just with one person, oh my god, look at this. Hungry, naked, darkness, oh, oh it's a disaster. He's gonna starve. There's only emus. Rip, rip us. There's a feeling of inevitability about this. Bad hygiene, at least his... Okay, good, the pain isn't so bad now. Are we even gonna get the 10 wood we need to build this wooden horseshoes pin? From these cactuses? I don't know. Hey, come on, he's got enough rest, get up! from extreme to major and straight back to bed. I think he's trying to heal himself up. Oh, an ostrich. Get it. Let's see. So, three more ostriches and... We can make a bird skin tribal wear. Unfortunately, I can't combine this to make patch leather, so that's not going to help. Think, think, think. How do we do this? How do we do this? seems to be sleeping an awful lot. I didn't tell him go rest until healed. Okay, bladder, hygiene, sorted, mood improving slowly, cloud watching, relaxing. I'm pretty sure he's gonna hunt when he's done relaxing.
hope it doesn't get revenge and kick us to death. Thank goodness he's a decent shot, and thank goodness we were able to craft an excellent short bow on the first attempt. Whew, clutch. He's a tough little lad, this spin doctor. I'll give him that much. He's very tough. No, don't eat the corpse! At least eat the meat after you've butchered. That rice plant will be ready soon. Oh my god, stop sleeping. Dude, you are killing me here. Okay, we've got some wood. Uh, use the wood to refuel the campfire. Cook up some delicious ostrich meat. Two cooked meals. We should have enough wood now to build the uh, wood wooden horseshoes blueprint. So he's got some recreation. Slow, slow, slow bit of progress. But he could still go into a daze, or you know, have, he could have his morale could break at any second, and that could be the end of him. <laughs> Am I psychic or something? Like how did I don't know that was going to happen. Um, hmm. Okay, I'll tell you what. Interesting episode. So, Bachevsky and Fredo met their end, and now Spin Doctor has, you know, dropped in a tropical hell. But he's doing his best. I mean, he survived five days, an extreme break risk. And he's finally now got into a sad wonder. When we come back, we'll continue playing this through uh, for as long as we can. As desperate and grim as things look, who knows? This could be, could be the beginning of an amazing story. Look, we've got, we got rice that's ready to harvest. It's not the end of the world. Okay, friends, thanks for watching. I'm Stubborn for Nine. This is Room World with the Naked Brutality mod. Attempt number three. Spinductor. Tropical Hell. Good luck, Spinductor.